and we are back and this war may or may not be victorious the interesting no. thing here is if we are winning this war we should try to hold out on declaring victory until Gollum wins his uh wins his hang on wins did his war did he he pieced out I think wait what Yeah, he pieced out. Wait, attacking King Blunder the Cannibal against... Yeah, that's my border dispute there. He pieced out of his holy war. Oh. What an idiot. Right? Okay. We're, who would have got more territory? Some north and south. Yeah. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Okay, I'm unpausing. It is for Saiba. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see if they come up miraculously with 40,000 troops. <laughs> oh, look at that! He's calling a bunch of people in. <coughs> so it bears noting that he's got 31,000 potential vassal ally troops. So we need to do this quick if we're going to do this. That's true. We'll have the war goal in any second, though, I have feeling. Yeah. I'm sieging in multiple places. It's going to take him time to get up here. Oh, yeah. We're going to have this whole north part sieged here in, like, minutes. In game. <laughs> Where's his army at? That's my concern right now. I'm betting he's coming in the south. I see two thousand Yeah strong in the south. But yeah, where the where is the rest of his army? I mean most of his army is vassal. It bears noting. Like, that army okay. that he's got down in the south is most of his personal army. If that's the case, he can run around with that all he wants. Right. It's going to take him forever to get anything done. There's a 4k stack. Ah, oh, and they're in perfect placement, too. I'm going to wait until they're walking into Nobatia. So that I, I have gotcha. actual vision. Hey, there's another... Uh, they're just, sta they're just staying in Mercuria? Are they terrified? They should be. Okay, here comes another little stack. At this rate, though, he's not going to have time to get any sieging done. If he groups up, I'm in trouble <laughs> if he comes after me. But our war goal, or our war score, is going up fast. And I just assaulted a holding because it was low enough on troops that it didn't matter. Yeah. And I did it again. We're at 79%. He is grouping up. I'm going to be in trouble if he decides to start fighting me down here. But we're at 99% war score. Oh, yeah. He just sued for peace. He is surrendering under these terms. Um, I get the city of Fustat. I'm going to decline Wait. his peace deal. It is a city as the county capital, which is a little weird, but I'm going to decline it and enforce my own demands because I'm not sure if he's just giving me the city or not. Right. That's what I was assuming, by the way, it sounded like. Okay. Once we finish this siege. There we go. I'm going to see if he'll accept it at 99%. He does indeed. Nice. Okay. Okay. 
Well, there we go. <laughs> okay. I'm threatening again. There's a defensive pact against me. That's fine. Don't worry, that's just me. <laughs> Sounds right. <gasps> so, that was interesting that he never even actually fought a battle. He never even grouped up his army. But if he had grouped up his army, we would have potentially had problems. Because he did have a lot of vassal troops. That said, we weren't really anticipating a fight. So. True. Why am I up to 20 vassals under me? I was just at 17. Hmm. Oh, I bet... Yeah, I need to give out the Duchy of Mercuria. Which needs to be created. There we go. Now I have a de jure ducal claim over Napata. Napata, is that that whole uh, strip that they have up there? No, uh, that's the one that's right next to my capital. Ah. Their king just died. Okay, so that indicates to me that they're not going to be losing Aswan through Gavelkind anytime soon. However, they're now one year old. Also, do I no longer have a truce with them? We no longer have a truce with them. The Spiva, yeah. Do we want to go to war again? Yeah, what do we want this time? Do we want to take more of their northern holdings or assault? Probably the de jure claim on Napata. Oh, yeah, yeah, duh. <laughs> Give me a moment here, I'll position my uh, retinue over in not your capital. <laughs> I'll position them in Ar uh, Arbara, or at Bara. Is that uh, at okay. Bara, yeah. Okay, I'll let you come on in. Okay. I think this time we make a hard push for Darfur. Sounds good to me. Ah, my wife uh, is pregnant now. Maybe Barrington. No, I just hope that she secures an heir for both kingdoms. I don't want my brother to be my first in line. Moreto with him being second in line, but not first. That kingdom, though, that she holds is a uh, elective gavel kind. Nice. So where's your retinue at? Oh, I see him. Okay. They're on their way. Yep, they are. And now I think it's a good time to raise my personal levy as well. Yeah, sure. If they got built up enough. We'll be declaring shortly. Perfect. I'll have them all meet up in the B. Oh, I'll have these guys make a beeline over here to uh, uh, Gazira so they can just jump right into Elodia. Okay. And then I'll have the other 5,000 form up in Zabid. Oh, perfect. First child is, in fact, a, uh... Wait, there were two at... How many FSNs have there been? A lot. <laughs> Oh, this child's just been renamed. Okay, are you ready to declare? 
Or should I, we wait a little longer? Nearly. I'd say at least let this uh, other 5,000 stack get a little bit closer, and then we should be good. Okay. Cousins of Doggo. Sounds great. Okay, I'm gonna have one 5,000 stack in Gazira, one in Senar. If I can jump into Kosti and Elodia. Okay, I'm. my plan is to put my retinue on Napata and then send all of my forces immediately to Darfur, other than my retinue. Okay, in that case, I'll put my guy is over into Makuria, so that way they can just jump straight down and buy you to while you're in Napata. Okay. So are you ready to declare? I am now, yes. Okay. I think we might have to wait till your retinue is out of their territory to call you in. True. Okay. I have a million pop-ups. There we go. So let's declare on this two-year-old. I am doing a de jure claim on Napada. Allies joining on the enemy side, Kingdom of Tilia. Oh, that's these guys over here. They're way far away. Are they strong? Not amazingly, but I think we can take this before they can get there. Yes. And if we're grouped up in Darfur, they would have to come in via the north, which would mean we're guaranteed to get it by the time they can get there. Yep. Yeah, because they don't have boats or access to boats. Correct. <laughs> so we declare war on this guy. Does your claim on Napata? Let or I can press my al my vassals de jure claim on Napata, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to give it to him anyway, and he'll be much more interested in participating in this war if I give it if I declare it as pressing his claim. Oh yeah, true. Okay. So everything else is heading straight for Darfur. Yep. I have marching orders for Bayuda, Elodia, and then when the third army gets to Sanar in the coasty. Okay. Excellent. So hopefully this will just be a quick land grab and we'll get this done real fast. I'm a little worried about my vassal limit right now, but... Um, think we should hopefully be able to take care of it. One thing I could do is I could drop down to medium centralization, and that would deal with it entirely. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Councils for that? Yeah. Okay. There's that problem solved. Okay, I am unpausing, and we'll see how long it takes them to get over here. I mean, we're definitely in a much better position for oh, this war than they are. I'm, I'm in trouble for Bayuda. Oh, I see that. That's rough. How are you planning on dealing with that one? Running, fleeing, terrified. <laughs> Pants are on my ankles. Excellent. Okay. So we're already sieging all of their provinces over here. Yeah, I think it's just going to take them so long to get organized over here that we just grab this and get out. That's the idea anyway.
the defenders of Bayou to launch an unsuccessful raid against me. I love it. Wait, I thought they're... I thought the King of Saiba was a junkling and not a dragon. No, the kingdom the King of Saiba is currently a dragon. Huh. Okay, they have an 8k stack over here. It's marching away though. <laughs> I'm building a fort in Darfur to deal with this attrition. Okay. The attrition here is really high. Okay, we've got a fort here. Besides, we want to hold there anyway. Right. Yeah, now the now the attrition is actually completely gone. Excellent. I will admit I built three forts as well myself, just to kind of help secure this area for attrition. Yeah. So that way I can keep my guys out of out of their fur, but right next to it. They were thinking about walking into me there. They decided against it ultimately. But they were sure thinking about it. We're at 75% war score, though. Right. <laughs> They're not going to have much of a chance to get in here. You can move that 5k stack into Darfur. Bayudas. It's fully sieged. Wait. Which one? Bayudas? Yeah. Bayuda? Oh. Invite. Yep. Just come reinforce me. If they attack in the north... We don't really care. They have a lot of sieging to do to catch up. We're at 85% war score. Ninety-nine percent. I'm gonna see if he's gonna accept this. He is. Nice. Excellent. Apparently, my character is the subject of low Greek plays. Oh, yeah? Apparently. That's what he said. I'm thinking he's just jealous. Probably. Okay, what does your duchy is this part of? Hmm. I see, that's a little awkward. Okay, there's a Kermani revolt, and it's not against me. Interesting. So how long is my truce on against Saiva? Because we can keep doing that all day. Right. Uh, ten years is the truce. That's a long time. Okay, well, that's fine. I need to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we're going to be waiting out that truce, and probably Harley's going to go to war with something. Oh, you've You're got a revolt. Wrong. Good luck with that. Oh, I don't have a revolt. Uh, the Kermani revolt... Oh, your revolt rebel has a... Or, re or your uh, vassal has a revolt? My vassal. Yeah. yeah, okay. I have fucking raiders and pirates to deal with down here. Yeah, that makes sense.